Hi, hey, hey, hey. I'm Jane Thomas. I want you to tune in to WJBE, Jamming 99.7 FM and 1040 AM. Just the best every day. Jean Thomas wears many hats at Jammin' 99.7 WJBE. I am the news director and community relations director, um, executive, one of the executive producers of most of the uh, shows that we have on the air here at WJBE. He's been with the station since its revival in 2013, and since then they have become a main source of information, entertainment, and more for Knoxville's black community. Because a lot of things that were missing in the community um, events and things of that nature was because there was no real platform of advertising. So WJB became that place that I could come as a as a, a, a pastor or if I wanted an event uh, uh, broadcast for the whole community to hear about it, I'll come to WJB. WJBE was started in 1978 by none other than James Brown as a way to get information out to the black community. There was no station uh, in town or media representation for the African American community. Um, and so it was purchased specifically for the vision of creating a platform um, for the African American community to come and speak on as well as uh, present the music that has defined our culture uh, for years. Thomas can be found in the studio producing multiple shows during the week or at Cannon Baptist Church of Christ on Sunday mornings where he is a pastor. Though he prefers to keep his pastoring and producing separate, he likes to focus his Sunday shows on one specific area. My focus and my target is always going to be the spiritual, the spirituality of the station. Us trying to, you know, bring forth uh, the Christian um, uh, position um, in the airwaves. For the last six years, Thomas and WJBE have been consistently bringing news, tunes, and the good word to the people of Knoxville through the radio.